People often ask me, aren't my plants too heavy for my balcony? And honestly, I never really thought about it until I roughly weigh my plants. And that's when I realized I really need to rearrange things, like urgently. I have about 50 potted plants spread across two balconies. Roughly 40 of them are small to medium-sized pots, each under 40 cm in diameter. The remaining 10 are large pots, some quite hefty. So I took rough measurements like pot size, material, soil type and estimated plant mass. And with ChatGPT's help, I worked out an estimate. The plants in this wider balcony are around 280 kilograms. And the plants in this duplex balcony are somewhere between 870 to 950 kilograms. That's a lot of weight. And that's when it hit me. Am I overloading my balcony? But how much load can my balcony hold? To know that, I needed the structural drawing for my balconies. Hello, I need your help. After I got hold of it and a bit of calculation, the wider balcony has total weight bearing of about 1,600 kilograms, while the duplex balcony is about 1,800 kilograms. Looks like I'm still in a safe zone with several hundred kilograms of headroom to spare. Now that's a relief. But what if I get more plants? And in the future, when my plants grow bigger? Just in case, I think I should reconsider the entire layout for safety and also implement other precautionary measures. From my research, I learned that weight distribution matters a lot. Engineers design certain parts of the balcony to carry more loads and some others much lesser. From the structural drawing, I found out that the side walls are load-bearing columns with steel reinforcements that are anchored all the way down to the foundation of the building. There's a major beam under the balcony doors that is one of the strongest support areas. The beam under the railing is smaller, but moderately strong, although it's less reinforced compared to the other three sides. In short, the safest spots are these corners where the door beam meets the column walls, and spots along this major beam and column walls are also generally safe. The riskiest spot is the center of the balcony slab, while the area along the railing isn't that ideal for heavy pots. So I reviewed my plant placements. The two unknown trees are in strong zones already that is along the column wall. The rubber tree is even better. It's already in the strongest corner of my balcony, so it's all good. But the umbrella tree that is sitting right along the railing edge was not that ideal especially since it's a spot that gets a lot of wind gusts. So, it was time to rearrange. Now, the fix wasn't so straightforward. And here's the dilemma. I had intentionally placed the umbrella tree by the railing to create a canopy effect. It blocks out harsh sun and gives the balcony that cozy, shaded feel. Now that I understand my balcony structure, I couldn't just leave it there knowing that it was sitting on a weaker part of the slab. So I took action first. I moved the umbrella tree away from the railing, closer to the door beam. It didn't feel right immediately. 
but I let it sit while I thought things through a bit more. A few weeks later, I decided to do a big reshuffle. I experimented swapping spots between the umbrella tree, the chaufflera, and the unknown trees and other plants as well, trying to balance structure, lighting, and also aesthetics. Some plants were not getting enough light, others just looked off. So I kept adjusting, shifting, and sometimes backtracking. It's complicated. But eventually, I found a layout that worked. This is how my balcony looks like now. The umbrella tree is no longer near the railing. It's been moved to the right side column wall, which offers much stronger support. I've also placed it about 75 cm away from the railing and is now less exposed to wind gusts. The two unknown trees are now placed along the left column wall and the strong door beam. And some of the other plants have also been rearranged with the structural layout in mind. I didn't make any changes to this balcony. About a week after that big reshuffle, I decided to move the chaufflera out of the balcony to lighten the overall load. I placed it in the kitchen, right where my old monstera was. Well, it looked perfect in that spot, but I was a little worried. You see, nothing has survived there so far. Quick side note, I did a little grow light upgrade in the kitchen to give the chaufflera a better chance. I swapped out the old 24 watt bulb for a 100 watt grow light. This new one is remote controlled and so I can even adjust the brightness depending on the time of day. And it seems to be working. Two months in, the Chaufflera has sprouted some new leaves and looks quite happy in its new home. I'm now thinking of moving the Stratlizia out of the balcony next, and maybe the other plants as well. I didn't expect my plant obsession to lead me into structural drawings and load-bearing math, but here we are. The new layout feels better, safer, and more intentional. My balcony is still evolving. And yes, it's very much an ongoing project. But with each adjustment, it's starting to feel more balanced, more thoughtful, and just right for how we live. It might not be the final version, but it's definitely a much safer and a smarter one. And for now, I can finally breathe easier, sit back and enjoy the shade and let the plants grow. <laughs>